Hey you guys, I'm Mike from One Point Craps, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over a hybrid strategy that I really like, and I hope you do too. Hey you all, welcome back to the On Point Craps table. It's been a while, but I'm back, and today we're gonna to go over a hybrid strategy uh, that I've been using and I've had some success with, and I really like it. Uh, it's pretty basic, it's easy to follow, uh, there's some moving pieces, so you get to have some fun uh, being, you know, participating on the action on the table. And um, I, I, like I said, I really like it. I got the idea from Duracell 8, or D8 as he's known on uh, Coffee and Craps in the morning show. Um, when he explained it, he was doing $25 bets. Uh, I'm, I reduced that down to a $10 bet. It lowers the uh, initial bankroll needed to uh, run the strategy. And uh, it works the same way. Uh, it scales down perfectly. So without wasting too much more time, I'll briefly explain it. Um, it starts out with a $50 don't pass. Once a point is established, you're going to go ahead and put the rest of this allotted payroll into all the numbers except the point. Obviously the six and eight will be a $12 bet versus a $10 bet. So we have $54 out there uh, and $50 on the don't pass. So really you're looking at a $4 risk, but you have a lot of money out there on the table and <laughs> that's building you comps if nothing else. So from here, the way the strategy works is every time one of the place numbers gets hit, let's say it's a five, you're going to go ahead and win your $14. Um, and you're going to pull that down and go ahead and rack that. So with each successive hit on a place number, you're pulling back winnings and your risk on the place bets is now reduced because I only have $44 out here right now. So if the seven does come, I'm winning 50 only losing that 44, so I'm I'm netting positive there. Um, all you need is one hit to be netting positive on the seven. That's why I like it. And you're you're bringing back each time, so you're constantly bringing chips back to your rack to allow you to keep playing. Um, and that's how I like to play. I like to play the game. I'm at the table for a long time, uh, normally because I'm playing with family um, who are playing slots and stuff. So I, I like to be at the table. I like these strategies that can keep you there for a little bit. Um, so I'll go ahead and roll it out right now. I'm sure there's some questions about uh, come outs and stuff like that. I'll address that right now. So as I said, it starts with a don't pass, $50 don't pass. So at this point, you are at risk for the seven or the 11. Now, if you have some extra bankroll and you want to do it, you could even allot for it. As I said, I'm at $312 right now. I could bump it up to $325. You know, uh, that would give me a little bit more. And what I could do with that is for each of these rolls, put out $4 on the yo. Uh, so if the yo does come, that's going to be a $60 win. Uh, $50 loss, a net $10 win there. Obviously, I'm still at risk at, for the seven. Uh, one way you can cover that, it would be a lay four or 10 for $100. Um, that will cover that $50 don't pass. But now you're talking about increasing your bankroll um, to uh, cover that don't pass and hedge your way out of it. And if that four hits, now you're down $100. Uh, so for this, we're not going to hedge anything. We're just going to play it straight. Hopefully the strategy will roll out properly. You can see how it works uh, without us losing uh, this $50 on the come out roll. So we're going to start. Again, point is to establish a point right now, and then we're going to put the other $54. Could be $52 if we hit the 6 or 8, uh, but playing on $54, going out there for the place bets. Place her out. And that is a 213. That is some extra cheese right there. 213. Three craps will get us $50 that we weren't planning on, which is good. With this right now, some people say, oh, you should parlay that up. I like to keep that here as a cushion. So if we do hit the come out seven, again, like our big risk is that seven or the 11. Uh, you know, we're a, the seven is a two to one against us here right now. So 
we're hoping that we get that seven or the, uh, get a point. But if we happen to seven out, we now have an extra fifty dollars uh, to come back out with. Place out. So five one six. It's a six easy. Our point will be six. We'll go ahead and mark that. Now again, as I said, we go ahead place ten dollars on each of the numbers that is not the point. $12 will go on the eight, and then we have $2 left over because we do not put anything on the point. So at this point, we have $52 at risk, $50 on the don't pass. If we happen to PSO right now, we lose a whole $2. Dice are out. Nine, six, three, nine. That's a center field nine. That will pay us. 15 for one. We got that extra dollar there from the six that we didn't have to place. Um, sorry, I got train of thought there. So we pull back the 15 and we take down the 10. Go ahead and rack $25. Now remember, our initial investment was $102, and because of that craps when we hit, we're already at $76. We're almost uh, to even already. Go ahead and mark our nine. Dice are out. There's an eight easy. That is a six, two, eight. Again, that will pay us 15 for one. Drop that one. We'll go ahead and bring this back to the rack. So at this point, we should be uh, even. So now we're just, everything that we do now is gravy. Any box number hit right now is a win. Face her out. Six. But that's the only one that hurts us. Six hard. So we are going to go ahead and lose this don't pass. At this point, it's the same shooter. We're assuming it's not us. We're going against random shooters. Our, we're going to follow the puck and stay off. We're not going to put another don't pass on. We're just going to hope that these hit. And we'll see where we sit at the end of the shooter. Dice are out. There's a 6516. Six. That's a 6 easy. Point will be 6. Now we're just looking for these other uh, box numbers that we have placed to go ahead and resolve themselves. Dice are out. Eight. Eight easy. That's a five, three, eight. Now it's a little bit of a waiting game here. Um, if you have a good shooter, you might just be sitting, but you're in. You're in on the action. Dice are out. Eight. Eight easy. So five, three, eight. Lots of eights. Back to back five, three. Dice are out. That is a three, two, five, fever five. Again, that will pay us 15 for $1. Go ahead and rack that, bring that down. That's good for us. Looking for this four and the 10. Place her out. It's another five, fever five. We didn't mark it last time, so we'll drop two chips there. Place her out. Another five. This time it was a four one five. It rolled on me. Four one five. Dice are out. Three two five. All over the five. Here's where people make the mistake. Gambler's fallacy. Oh, he's bound to hit another five. Let's hop to fives. We're not going to do that. Dice are out. Eight eight easy. It's a five three eight. Back on that eight. Dice are out. Eight again this time. Six, two, eight, eight, easy. It's a good roller here. Dice are out. Two, one, three. That's three craps. Two, one, three, three craps. We didn't mark that last time either. Dice are out. Eight, eight, easy. Six, two, eight. Six, two, eight. 
Thanks her out. Ten. Ten on the end. Wayland's best friend. That's a six, four, ten. That's going to go ahead and pay us 18. And we'll bring that down. So far, so good. A little bit of rack management here. I think we're at $100 right there, just in reds. Place her out. Another 10, this time the hard 10 puppy paws. Place her out. Meaner 9549. I'm running out blue chips. Place her out. 314. Look at that. That's another 18. Bring that down, and we are out of this hand. We're not going to finish resolving it. Let's see what we got with this shooter. So remember, we lost uh, fifty dollars because uh, we lost that don't pass. Our initial starting was um, one hundred and four dollars. There's 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. That's 175 dollars in winnings, right there. 175 dollars. Uh, I take that back. Not 175 dollars in winnings. Uh, let's let's redo this. We'll do our 104 dollars. We'll see where we're at. That's 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 104, 50, 104. So we're back to our original three shooters worth the bankroll. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 50, okay, 75, $78 in winnings right now. $78 in winnings, one shooter. Now, we had a good roll. We hit all of the numbers. That doesn't always happen. Um, we're going to go ahead and see how many they got here. 15, 19, 19 rolls. That's pretty good. And we'll do one more shooter. Let's see how this goes. So again, $50, don't pass. Place her out. Eight, eight easy. It's a five, three, eight. The point will be eight. Again, $10 on each of the box numbers. Set the point, make your bet right on the six. Got an extra two dollars a rack. Again, we have two dollars here if we seven out. Place her out. Five, fever five. That is a three, two, five. So we hit the eight and the five. Again, that will pay us 15 for one. Bring that $25 back to the rack. Place her out. Eight. That's the point. Keep getting... Keep losing that don't pass. That hurts us. But you can easily fight back, as we've seen. We follow the puck. Puck is off. Dice her out. Meaner nine. It's a center field nine. Five, four, nine. So at this point, we don't have a don't pass. We're not hedged against it. So we can just go ahead and stay on the nine. Place her out. Then we seven out. Oof, that hurt us. So that hurt us. So we did lose here. That was pretty quick. We'll do one more shooter. See how this works. I think we're still 
pretty close. I think we're actually just even right now. We're just even, so not too bad off. $50. New shooter coming out. Eight. Eight card. That's a square pair. Eight will be the new point. Again, place our bets. Oops. Rack the extra two. Place her out. 12 midnight. All the dots in all the spots. So we roll an eight. We roll a 12. Place her out. Let's get some box numbers here. Neener nine, six, three, nine. That will go ahead and pay us 15 for one. And then we go ahead and rack it. Place her out. Two, one, three, three craps. Two, one, three, three craps. Mark that three. Mark the previous nine. Get some box numbers. Dice are out. There we go. Three, two, five. Three, two, five. Again, that will pay us 15 for one. And here's what I like about the strategy. As I said, I'm bringing chips back to my rack with each hit, and I'm reducing my risk. So now, as I said, if we get a seven... We're winning. We'll lose 30. We'll win 20. That's why I like this. Um, as you go, you reduce your risk and weight raise your winning potential. It seems to work to me. Dice are out. And there it is. We seven out. Six, one, seven. So we go ahead and lose this 30, but we will win 50 here for a net gain of 20. So let's go ahead and reset. We'll see what this rack looks like. I'm pretty sure we have net winnings after all these shooters. And we do. Go ahead and swap this out for five ones. I didn't really need to do that, but just to show. So let's see. After all those shooters, not a big profit, but... may have messed up somewhere maybe not but 25 almost 50 dollars we got 49 dollars 49 dollars in winning and we still have our initial bankroll and we've been playing through, through all these shooters um i could keep playing it but i think you get the point uh try it out on your own again it scales up you can do it any level um it's going to be uh 100 if you take it up to the 25 dollar level um it'll be a hundred dollar don't pass and then 25 dollar bets and scale it from there so that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. Like I said, it's been a while, uh, so I may have slid off of your, uh, what do you call it, slid off of your uh, your sites, you know, and you're, you forgot about me, but if you hit that notification bell, I'll let you know that I'm back and putting out content. So thanks again. Share this with your family. Um, and if you liked it, hopefully I'll see you on the casino floor.